Hello and welcome to the show. This show is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool Teas. We are Sunday Cool Teas and we love them. And don't believe us? Listen to this other person that works here. You have five seconds to give me your best pitch for the new Sunday Cool Swag Store. The new Sunday Cool Swag Store has really awesome stuff. I mean, just our butterfly merch. Uh, you caught me off guard. <laughs> we have stickers. We have shirts. You can get cool car merch. We have a lot of other cool stuff. Everything that's new is there, bro. And it was all made by us. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Get it. SundayCoolSwag.com. What can people find there? All kinds of new print styles. Uh, really get your hands on some of our new stuff, like our iridescent prints, stuff that nobody else has seen yet. Um, you can get it there first. Give me a word of wisdom. Oh, every pee pee time is not a poo poo time, but every poo poo time is a pee pee time. Solid. <laughs> What are you talking about? Where did you get fried shrimp? Oh, I told you. I told Ruby. you. Ruby. I told you. What? You should have reached out. You should have asked her. I'm you so said, hurt. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I knew it. You were like, Lily loves to eat. This morning is so terrible. I just, I got so much to do. You know something? He hit it on purpose. <laughs> you know how much we were texting and he didn't think to mention? You didn't go. You didn't go. You're making that up. Do you want? Do you want Did me? To, do you want yes. me to? Do you want me to text you every time we go out to eat, just in case? Why do I feel like he cheated on me? <laughs> oh my goodness! It's the same Will? thing, really, dude. <laughs> Shut up, dude. When Kelsey, when Kelsey goes out to eat with her friends, and then she has like, uh, she thought she was gonna, have, she had leftovers, but she's like, I don't need it. I don't need it to go box. And he just bring it home. And she doesn't bring it home. I was like, Do you love me? Do you think about me at all? You went to the cheesecake factory. You bring me back a cheesecake. <laughs> What's wrong I, with you? Dude, I get I get crazy upset. I'm like, I was like, it, it literally feels like a betrayal. I was like, not it, there's nothing in that brain of yours that does a click that says <laughs> that says, Hey, you know what? My husband would really love this. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> no wonder. Okay, so you came up all, oh I got you this donut. Oh, look at this donut I got you. And I, it's because I'm you feel bad. No, I don't. I went out working Sub out for you. Subconsciously. <laughs> no. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> I'm about to. Hey, we need to fix those. Those are driving me nuts. I those are crazy. I did that on purpose. Crazy. <laughs> I did that on purpose to get people oh. to like, fix the picture. I was, I, I, did you see my eyes? I kept doing this to it too. Oh no. Just, okay, good to know. That's on purpose. Can we take it down? Or no, you, you're good. You're going to distract you? <laughs> we, I did this nighttime routine with Ada where I take her out of the bath and I put her like in her little elephant towel with the hood and we I sit her in the oh, sink. A, yeah, so cute. so cute. And then I give her her toothbrush and she practices brushing. I brush her hair. I put lotion on her face. But meanwhile, she's like taking everything that's on the counter and like chucking it, throwing it on the ground and messing it up. And Josh is watching this. He's literally going. <laughs> and he's like, do I have an issue? Like, what's wrong with me that this is making me so crazy? Oh, yeah. It drives me nuts. <laughs> and, like, I, I love cooking and I love the fact that like my daughters want to cook. But uh -huh. as soon as they step foot in the kitchen, I'm like, get out. <laughs> Can you leave get out right now? <laughs> Don't touch anything. <laughs> I've got to. I've got to get better at that. Ninjas are butterflies. Ninjas are butterflies. Ninjas are in the butterflies. It's the ninjas are butterflies. It is episode twenty six. Ninjas are butterflies. Wow! Wow! That was, that was good. Wow. He killed that. We didn't even practice. I, I promise you, we didn't practice it. <laughs> that we did it. We awesome. just said we should just do Lion King. Yep. That's all you said. Let's do Lion King. Yeah. Mm. And then An Andy goes, I'll do like Ninjas are, Ninjas are, Butterflies. And then we just. What if you guys. What if you started out Weemba Way? Because that's also Lion King. You guys yeah. didn't even clarify. <laughs> Weemba Way. <laughs> we're just, we're just on that link. <laughs> we're on that link, baby. Let's go. The ninjas <laughs> are butterflies. <laughs> When you guys Beautiful. started, when you started, Jane goes, <laughs> <laughs> What? What's happening? <laughs> Where am I? I'm at the podcast again. <laughs> um, okay, everyone be quiet. Ooh. Okay, all right. This is, this is a deep question. 
today's me. today's question and this a lot of people have asked this i know they have um today's question is timothy chalamet a serial killer what what i mean that's it that's that yeah is, I mean, Tim, is timothy chalamet a serial killer i don't think there's any evidence to prove that i don't think there's even like substantial evidence to even like hint at that so i would say no that oh okay welcome to the show oh okay. <laughs> ah, butterflies you're not gonna ask me did i say ninja i meant butterfly. the butterfly is no doubt one of god's ah! most beautiful i said empty your mind you were martial arts Pop ninjas that was the bit we were just oh. <laughs> We practice that. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to lead it on and it'd be like, it would just be so like, no, yeah, there's not enough evidence. Oh, all right. Okay. All right. <laughs> cool. Well, Timothy we'll Chalamet is not a serial killer. Just in case. What, what, if do, he turns you, what out? do you think though? I can't be sure. Ooh. Oh, interesting. Look at the look in his eye. So his, his look makes me want to like, I don't know, hug him. Oh, <laughs> So yeah, I guess so. Honestly, that Ted Bundy I'll, look. A little. I want to. I want to hold his hand. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I kind of want to get a bowl of popcorn and cuddle hang up on. and watch um, Dune <laughs> with old Timmy. I want to hang out with that man. Timmy, why are you making me feel this way? <laughs> why am I calling uh, you Timmy? <laughs> why am I calling you Timmy? <laughs> You're my boy, Timmy. Timmy's my boy. <laughs> That's I, Timothy Chalamet. I didn't watch him in anything mm. until Dune. And so it was, he was already like well, a heartthrob at you that did, point. You did, but you didn't even realize it. Yeah, what he's interstellar. In yeah, interstellar. In, yeah, interstellar. Yeah. I did not even realize. Yeah. That's that's the thing. I'm. Uh, that's what I feel like I'm getting old and is because I'm realizing I'm seeing these actresses or actors that are huge right now that everyone wants to be in. It's like I've I've only heard of them until now. Yeah, well, Interstellar's not scary. really like a memorable movie. You'll that's watch true. It, watch that's it. true. He's also yeah. he's also in um, Mission Impossible, uh, Ghost Protocol. No, he's not. What? Yeah, in what? Who is he? He's the um he's the the he go, he's Ethan, Ethan Hunt. Does the fast running? He's, he like believes in Scientology. <laughs> what? You talking about oh, Tom that's Cruise? Tom Cruise. That's, that's Tom Cruise. Tom Sorry. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking? About? I I'm lost. <laughs> yeah, I mean Top Gun, Top Gun, uh, Jerry Maguire. <laughs> uh, what's it called? Pelican Brief or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what it's called? I don't know. Vanilla Sky. There, there's, Vanilla a, Sky? there's a lot Jerry of McGuire. Tom Cruise movies that are hits that I've never seen. I've never seen all of Jerry Maguire. I've never seen Vanilla Sky. Don't I've never seen it. Vanilla Sky. Don't watch it. <laughs> wow, that's <laughs> extreme. I've heard it's good, though. No. No. <laughs> Stop it. It's not. I don't even know what it's about. It was so. Guess what it's about, Lily. Tell me, Vanilla Sky. What do you think? Tom Cruise, Vanilla Sky. What do you think that's about? Aliens. Aliens doing what? <clears throat> Eating ice cream. Vanilla ice cream. Vanilla ice cream. <laughs> Do you want to know what it's about? <laughs> yeah. It's about... It's a car wreck, right? Yes. Starts off with a car wreck? He lives inside a simulation and doesn't realize he's living inside a simulation. This is a spoiler? Probably. Oh, he's just said that before. <laughs> I'm telling you, don't watch it. I'm going to spoil it so okay. you don't watch it. Got it. Okay. And, like, it gets so dark. Like, he's, like, there's, like, little, like, glitches. Oh, no. And he's figuring out, like, what is... It's, he feels like he's hallucinating, like, all the time. And there's like at one point he's like killing his wife. <gasps> oh my goodness! Because it's him. It's like him, and it like it goes back from his wife to him. So he thinks he's killing himself. Like oh the, uh, no! Version. So he's yeah, just freaking out. And then, and then like then like at the end it like zooms out and he's like in like a chamber where it's like a simulation. Oh, no. It messed me up. I was watching it alone when I was living in Montana, like all by myself oh, yeah. in the like, woods. And it was in like I was like snowed in and it was dark and I watched Wolf. it. I'm just like. I like text my buddy oh, Adam. No. I'm like, can, can you pray for me right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, freaking I, out. Oh, dude, please think of me right now. Which buddy, which buddy did you text? Adam. He, he just said that. Louis. Winter. Oh, I didn't hear it. Yeah, I did. Was it during the winter? It was. <gasps> would you have texted another person in the spring though? I would have. <laughs> Jerry Spring. I would have texted my um, sixth got- grade um, uh, Spanish teacher. Spring Guyton. Guyton. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, everyone mean, for every Senora. Season. Hola, Senora Guyton. Por favor. Senora Gaiten. <laughs> Shout out Senora Gaiten. Woohoo. She's a sweet lady. She is. She's What's the best. Senora? Senora. She's married, so you say Senora. If she was unmarried, you say Senorita. You say Quinciana. Mm. I barely, <laughs> I barely, barely, barely pass Spanish. 
This is a true story. My uh, final in uh, Spanish class, I literally was going to bomb it. And I asked an upperclassman, like, can I get notes? He said, just buy the teacher chocolate. And I did. Oh, chocolate. It, Ch- but, yeah. <laughs> El chocolate. <laughs> but legit, I bombed the test, but she didn't mark them wrong. Hey. Bada boom, bada bing. That's you know, bribery. I, te- I technically <laughs> shouldn't have graduated from high school. What do you mean? Because you're supposed to have well, two- I know that, but what do you mean? Hey, easy. <laughs> easy. You're supposed to have two years consecutive um, foreign language. And I took Spanish one uh-huh. and then didn't take anything the second year. And then my junior year, I took sign language one. So I didn't have two consecutives. And I also Why does that take- be consecutive? If, it's a, if it has to be a different one. That's what I'm saying. Why does it, it have to be consecutive? To, well, because you got to learn some. Yeah, but like, if you're doing sign if you're, language, if you're doing Spanish, if, I can say hola and hello. <laughs> <laughs> hello. <laughs> Thank you. I'm right? impressed. No, no, not with the hand. It's just, yeah, it's just Thank hand. You. Yeah, one. What is this? Don't touch your hand. What is this? So this uh, is there, there might be something. That might with be that. a swear word. Like, no, <laughs> no, this, uh, this is a swear word. Yeah, don't do it! <laughs> Can you blur that out, Andrew? <laughs> oh, this is a swear word. Yeah. Why would you show it? Oh, this is. <laughs> we're learning sign language with Ada right now, too. I'm like yeah. trying to remember all of it. <clears throat> but it's funny. Like, we're trying to uh, teach Ada some sign language because she's not uh, the best at talking. Mm-hmm. And we're trying to teach yet. her open. Yet. She will be, though. Oh, she will be. Oh, yeah. Yes. With you guys as parents, <laughs> she will be. Um, That's the thing. She probably is just like, you guys have enough going on right yeah. now. I'm just going to hold off until I get to school. (laughs) Well, our theory is, oh, keep going. I was just going to say, like, for open, we were, like, trying to teach her open, open. And we do, like, what uh, Miss Rachel does, where she's, like, showing her mouth, like, open. And so now when Aiden wants something open, she goes like this. <laughs> it's like that's. I mean, that's pretty. Oh, smart. we understand yeah, I mean, what you want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, you, you're literally creating your own ASL at that point. But when she says when she signs for more, it's literally the cutest thing ever. Let's see it. Like what she, she like just imagine Ada's little hands and yeah. stuff. And like if you don't want her, to like Ada, no more TV. And she'll like bring you the remote, and she'll go like this. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> like, oh my God. So that's so cute. sweet. All right. So cute. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's turn Jurassic Park back yeah. on. <laughs> it's so cute. That's amazing. Okay. But our, our theory around uh, her language, well, and we also need to talk about, I mean, the school we went to, it was a super expensive private school, but they didn't have like any freaking resources for us like at all either. And you had, you almost didn't graduate, but I think it's because we were paying for school. Anyway. That was Wow. You said a lot, <laughs> <laughs> like under your breath. <laughs> like it was supposed to be like, and it was really expensive. <laughs> Anyways, but you're like, and I'm seven, I'm seven, I'm <laughs> with Ada, our theory is why she's not talking is because she thinks she's a dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> explain on that. Why yeah, does she think yeah, she's a dog? explain this. She so, loves outside. I know that. Yes. Sticks, mud. And she'll stick anything in her mouth. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. She grabs a stick. She's just, Argh. She will. But um, she wrestles Frank first of all. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, like she's not afraid of nothing. Mm-hmm. No, she's, she's that type of dog that chases a car but doesn't know what she'll do when she gets it. Like yeah. that's yeah. yeah. But we were we're having our fence built right now, which is super cool. And Frank was like barking at the people building the fence. He like went up to the side and was like barking, yeah. and Ada went up right beside him, and she was going. Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> <laughs> barking That's, like and dude. i'm like no wonder she thinks she's a dog that's why she's not talking because frank doesn't talk yeah yeah she's a little mowgli at <laughs> yeah. this point yeah she's ra- being raised, raised by frank raised by frank <laughs> which we need a picture of frank he's so cool he's such a cool yeah. dog good old frank he's found right. on the side of the road in georgia right it's uh, like a meth house yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. a meth dog <laughs> it was though it the best like, type best types of dogs there. i've heard of meth dogs you know so. <laughs> meth dog <laughs> Wait, the best types like a, of dogs. Sounds like a bad, car, bad cartoon. <laughs> meth dog. It's a superhero dog, but it's like there's no superheroes, just meth. <laughs> it's no it's, superpowers. It's like Lair is just a trailer in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> meth dog. You think that upbringing would make him like extremely resilient? But oh we have spent gosh. thousands of and thousands of dollars on this dog's <laughs> For allergy his allergies. Issues. That's crazy. Yeah, that's like scary. your dog's allergic po- to grass. Well. All kinds we, of grass. We need 20 to know. Kinds. We need to know what's the limit for vets. Like, what are the vet vet bill limits? Yeah, where it's like this dog is not worth it. We've talked about it. We've talked <laughs> about it because yeah. I haven't. Had, luckily, we have a dog that's nine years old, Stella, and she has not needed to go to the vet once since her first year. She had parvo in her first year of being alive. So did I. And she survived. Yes, yeah, you did. You did. You <laughs> and did. she's great now. But also, <laughs> you had a dog disease, bro. Yeah. 
<laughs> let's, talk, let's talk about that for just a second. <laughs> um, I got really sick. This was, had to have been, what, three years ago? Yeah, it was when we it was just before been COVID. married. Yeah, it was 20, yeah, yeah. just 2020. So yeah. four, like four years ago, <laughs> just about. Three and a half years ago. We got doesn't matter. Our anniversary <laughs> was yesterday. <laughs> we don't need to get got up on the day. They don't care. Um, and I just, I started feeling sick and lethargic in my joints. It, it felt like it went on for weeks. Because you were just like, no, I, you were out. for months. Yeah, like, you felt like, but it would like come but like, and even like go. In, in office, you were just like, I'm so droggy. I feel like yeah. terrible. My and like, joints were hurting. And like, and so I went and got tested for everything. Mono, Lyme disease. And like, yeah, it's well, nothing is popping up. I'm like, I'm sick, dude. Yeah. And he's like, I'm going to do one more test. I don't think, but again, okay, let me do one more test. They did it and they called me back at the end of the week and they're like, you have Parvo B19, <laughs> which dogs get that. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Yeah. Rough. Didn't you get it oh, from a child though? I did. The whole eight of things. A child. A child. <laughs> the whole eight of things coming back no. around. What eight Uh-oh. of things? Uh-oh. Is it genetic? Whoa. Did we conceive you Ada while it. you had purple? More <laughs> dog? <laughs> you passed it on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she starts getting, like, you just see her raising up her leg to go pee in the yard. <laughs> That's her it's body just, training. Wow. You just tell her no, and then hair starts standing up. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> she was itching her head like this this morning, too. Yeah. <laughs> I looked at it. It's a bug bite for sure. Yeah. That is so funny. Um. Yeah. So Parvo B19. <laughs> Not fun. Yeah. You're a survivor. I'm a survivor. <laughs> but they, I think, I think they did say like the the strand I got. You can't get it from dogs, but dogs can get it. You can pass it on to dogs. Yeah. So don't be kissing dogs. That's what they told me. But speaking of <laughs> your guys' uh, wedding and like how long you guys have been married, mm-hmm. you just experienced your third anniversary yesterday. Mm-hmm. Con- wedding right? anniversary. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. So I wanted to. Um, Test you guys. Ooh, a, a little marriage, marriage, uh, marriage uh, game show. Okay, kind of like I'm the new, kind of like the newlywed game. Uh-oh. I only have like there's only like eight or so questions, so can, you can just you give it like quick. an intro. Yeah, marriage game show. Welcome back, everybody. We're gonna do the welcome the, 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 the <laughs> well, marriage game show. They've been married for three years. We're gonna test how well they know each other. How well All right. they've been married. <laughs> how long they've been married? Yes. All right. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna ask you questions, and you're gonna point or vocalize who do you think is the person oh geez that is um the best answer for this question all right okay. ready who's the better dancer okay well really that hurts my feelings but yeah I okay. you. <laughs> hurts there's all no right. winning in this game <laughs> i know this is gonna cause a lot of fights all right who gets to pick the tv shows really yeah that's why i'm so mad when i was pregnant <laughs> all right when you argue who makes less sense what? Whoa. Wait, you don't Dang. mean that. You don't mean that. Yeah. I'm the logical one. You're the fire. Oh my one. gosh. No, you are not. <laughs> you just fed into that. I'm the one that brings us down to here. Oh no. So you're the dreamer. She's the logical one. I, no. Yes. 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 No. Yes, yes. All I'm right. the one that's like, everybody sit down. <laughs> Let's think about logistics here. <sighs> Is that not true? What's your name? She just gave you a counterpoint. You got to go back at her. She's wrong. <laughs> She's wrong. How? Uh, next question. <laughs> okay. All right. Who spends more money? You do. Whoa! No. I never. <laughs> Stop right now. Stop right now. Um, I buy. I spend money on the things we need. When do I spend money on the things that we don't need? You buy shorts. You buy woodworking equipment. That hat. You buy so many hats. I didn't buy this hat. <laughs> Sunday Cool made this hat. You buy so many hats. Wait, Sunday Cool makes hats? That's really cool. If wow. you need custom hats, guys, you go to sundaycool.com and we'll take we'll take care of it. Go back to it. Have you seen his stash of hats in this office? The ones that he hasn't told you about? Have you seen our, Do you get them shipped here now? Is that what's yeah. going on? No, no, I don't. <laughs> he has a few here. No. Buzz off, kid. <laughs> these, these are all Sunday Cool hats. And they, John just comes true. in and he's like, I got 20 million hats. I'm like, cool. I'm not going to bring them home because Lily's going to yell at me. <laughs> Lily would never yell at you. Because she's illogical. Because she's the logical. <gasps> Next question. All right. Ooh, I'm okay. about to throw this right. donut at you guys. All right. Donut. Hey, this is an important one. Who apologizes first? Yeah, he does. Oh. I'm, I'm a grudge holder. Why didn't you point? I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this guy. All right, who has better taste in movies? Yeah, Josh does. Oh, better taste in music? Me. Mm-hmm. 
Really? Okay. Yeah. I thought that was going to be a debate. No. Because you really and your sister it. debated one time who had yeah. better taste in music. Lily has better taste in music than you? Hers goes back, like her, like growing up, my parents like didn't listen to music. Yeah. Like we were like an Amish household of like, <laughs> let's just watch the sunset. You wore jean skirts to school, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. Um, no, but Lily's parents, they like, like, Introduced her to like some nice. good music yeah, at, my parents like at an infant age. Have Whoa. really good music taste. When they went on their honeymoon, they stopped at um the REM um in Athens. They filmed the REM music video there and they had all the flags set up. Wow. Yep. That's cool. cool. Yeah. I, I did that's something I did not expect. I yep. thought you were gonna fight for that. Nope. All right. Um three more questions. What memory from early in your relationship do you guys disagree on details? <laughs> I know the first one that yeah. popped in my head. Uh. You get mad at me because I don't remember the filet o fish day. Oh, yeah. The filet o fish day. It has <laughs> oh a name. <laughs> what? A specific yeah. name because in three years of marriage. What? I, whenever I go to McDonald's, I always get a fish filet now or yeah. filet o fish. And um, so li- good. Lily's the person that like bought me my first filet o fish. Because he and hadn't had it. Yeah. And I I've was never like, they're had the bomb. It. And uh, she's like, I don't remember that. And so. he said it was a very meaningful day. It was. It was. You don't remember it at all. I don't. I don't remember doing that. Yeah, that's and crazy. That, I said that's the day I fell in love with her. Oh, no, she, she doesn't remember. You don't it. say that. It is. No, that you don't is so say that. funny. No, he's wow. always said that. Actually, no, he's, you never said that in your life. I have. He's told me that several times. Mm-mm-mm-mm. He has a tattoo of it. Mm-hmm. The flail fish. <laughs> that would actually be the, <laughs> whole, <laughs> the hilarious <laughs> tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, what would? What did you think of the flail fish? That was the same thing? Uh, what do we disagree on? There's so many things. I bring it up to you all okay. the time. Do you remember that incident? And you're like, I don't remember that at all. And I was like, okay, that was a really meaningful thing for me. Uh, but you can't name it right now, That's, that's funny. So it's, not, not, it's not that meaningful. Me and Kelsey have the same thing where it's like, I'll, I I won't remember certain things at all. But they're all, I'll rem- for some reason, remember the most meaningless things to her. Mm-hmm. But I'm thinking some like something in my mind was like, oh, that was a really good event for my like myself. And so like I, it sticks out instead of her. It was like it was a normal thing. I remember. He who must not be named, his wife was having a bridal shower. And we went, I went with Anna, who works here at Sunday Cool. I went with her to go, and you show, You walked through the door. So handsome. Oh, tell and me about it. I see she it. had a boyfriend at the time, by the way. Ooh. Oh, hey, this Whoa. is fair. Whoa. It Anywho. is fair because you're signing me up. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, we all had to go take a picture later, and Josh came and stood next to me, and then he put his arm around me so tight. And I thought, oh, maybe he has a crush on me, too. He doesn't remember that whole thing. I do remember it. No, you don't. You say you don't remember it. I No, I do remember that. Were you just, like, really sleepy and leaning on her? Probably. Yeah. Um, no, I, I always had a crush on her. But she was dating oh. someone, and I said, no. But she thought you were handsome. Yeah. I did. So you remember. So sue me. So sue me. Actually, don't. <laughs> okay, next question. Next question. Your house catches fire. After your loved ones and pets are safe, you can only save one more item. What item does your spouse pick? I know you exactly. Know, we we know just what, talked about this. Would, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, what do you think Josh is going to pick? Let me tell. Let me whisper in your ear and see. And so. Okay. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Right. Go. There's a box in our house that has a bunch of Polaroid pictures of the girls and us. No, that's not what he said. I'm kidding. I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> yeah, all right. Now, what do you think Lily would pick? Didn't you say the same thing? I would pick the same thing, yeah. yeah. But we also have a really important box of files. <laughs> <laughs> Taxes. Yeah. Yeah. It's important. <laughs> what if we get audited? Let it burn. <laughs> that was good. Okay, excellent. All right, last one. If your spouse was a worm, would you still love them? <laughs> yeah. Yes, we've argued about I this. Know, I know. <laughs> yes, I would love you if you were a worm. You would love would him they- as in you would never see anyone else? I wouldn't. You wouldn't let anyone else here's put your a, ar- a, their arm around you? Mm-mm. No, here's a question. I wouldn't. Are they, are, have they always been a worm or do they turn, they turn into, into a worm? Okay, I would still love Lily. I'd put her in a little. For the rest of your life. Sure. No other wife. Yes. You take care of her. Absolutely. Okay, Aww, good. You would like research put her, soils. Put her, yeah, put her in a little <laughs> matchbox with some soil. Yeah, lettuce and stuff. Do worms eat lettuce? Sure. I think they I just think eat dirt. I think soil, yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's why they're gross. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. Did you see that meme? It was like the Super Bowl. It was like when you put money on the Eagles and they just finish the game and they've lost and then your girlfriend is sitting next to you asking <laughs> if she would you would still love her if she was a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> a shovel? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like Elmo going like... <laughs> <laughs> I love oh, those so much. That was so pretty funny. good, though. That was good. That was you guys. You guys. Three years. It. 
Yeah. Well, did it, well, didn't your um, did it later. Kenny your uh, marriage <laughs> counselor? He like uh, before premarital counseling. Yeah. Premarital counseling. Didn't he say you had the highest rated uh, compatibility? Compatibility yeah, one of, them, out of yeah. all of us. Yeah. We got a really good score. Yeah. That's awesome. We are compatible. Compatible. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. It's well, important. Congrats. We went into marriage saying that divorce is never an option. So mm-hmm. we just got to make everything work. But you guys yep. still signed the prenup, so that's weird. Yeah. 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 I'm just kidding. You guys <laughs> <don't have laughs> no, <laughs> we're not that <laughs> rich. <laughs> Listen, if we qu- we call it quits, we're just good, right? Yeah. We just leave each other <laughs> way. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, congratulations on three years. That's a big deal. Thanks. Thank you. That's awesome. Three years, that's two awesome. kids. Thank you. Yes. Three years, two kids. You got to <laughs> yeah. keep it up. Let's go. Four years, three kids. Let's go. Uh-oh. Hey, speaking of kids, I just want to point something out real quick. What's up? Oh, our little baby. Look at We got a YouTube play button for 100,000 subscribers on our YouTube. And it's all thanks to you folks. Been seven years. We started in 2016. But it's also thanks to us because we made the content. So I mean, really, and we, we really, we did it by ourselves, completely by ourselves. We <laughs> could have done it by ourselves. So really, we don't need to thank anybody in reality. Okay. We, okay. <laughs> you need on. to fix it. Just put it up. I'm trying. All right. They do. They did okay. two holes. But legitimately, guys, this is like this could not have happened without you guys. With ninjas, the ninjas fandom that is happening, yeah, a hundred percent pushed us to a hundred uh, subscribers, hundred thousand subscribers, yeah. so fast, and it's we, pretty awesome. We're so thankful for you guys. This is this is fun because yeah. the next step is a million, <gasps> a million, a million. A million. We get another one. one. And hey, one can million. I? Can you promise me that the million is going to go right here? No, I'll put this one over there. Okay. Ah. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. That's good. That's cool. That's all right. That's 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 good, <laughs> but that's a big deal. I thought it was like, uh, um, we, our our sadness was gonna go away, and it didn't. And it didn't. <laughs> we're still depressed. <laughs> oh my gosh! Just kidding. We're not depressed. Not all the time. No, we're but we're by the time they're listening to this, we might have already hit one hundred fifty thousand. Uh, I thought you said by the time you listen to this, we might be depressed again. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. Um. Yeah. No, we've already hit one hundred fifty. Did we? It was like 144 yesterday. Yeah, that's what the I super cool thing. Um, we're just blown away. Oh, yeah, I yeah, never yeah, no, thought I would actually ever actually actually hold one of these. We're at one four five nine six three. That's dumb. That's so cool. Woo! Thank you guys. We this did is it. so fun. Um, speaking of YouTube play buttons and thanking everybody. Yes. Should we cut to an ad? I think it's time. <laughs> Whoa! What? Don't go anywhere. Andy. This is the ghost of the future. Okay, prove it. Prove it. What, what's going to happen when I turn 40? You will have gained more weight. Oh, no. You're right. I can and trust your you. hair will have grown back because of technology. Okay, perfect. What else do you have to tell me? You still don't know your dad. Okay, what, what other information about our sponsor do you have to tell me? Have you heard of Clear Street? That sounds familiar, but I don't know anything about it. What is it? I think you should tell them. <laughs> Wait, are you talking about ClearStream, the software program uh, for churches and organizations that help communicate with their um, their uh, the people that attend their uh, their churches and their organization? Yeah. And they're super. That's like super great because it's super quick and it's one on one communication and eliminates all the messiness with group chats. That's the one. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I also heard a, a, a myth. Uh, maybe you can you can help me fact check it that if they go to uh, clearstream.io forward slash ninjas, they get ten percent off for life. Is that correct? That's right, but not for me because I'm a ghost. Oh no! So the afterlife it doesn't work. The ten percent doesn't carry over. Unfortunately, not. Okay. Well, maybe Clearstream will work on that. But that sounds really cool because I re- I really want to use Clearstream because I want to communicate um, really well with all my the people that attend my church and everything. That's mm-hmm. awesome. So thank you so much. So Clearstream.io four slash ninjas, I guess. Goodbye. <laughs> Is that ghost too? <laughs> <laughs> wow. My name is Maximus Aurelius Aurelius. You killed my mo- my wife. You killed my, my children. <laughs> you killed my mother. I didn't realize for Husband the longest of a time slain mother that that's Dumbledore in the first movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's crazy to me. That blew my mind. <laughs> Who's the better D- Dumbledore? Oh, the second if, one. The second, the second one? one? You don't yeah. think the first one could have pulled it off? No. No. He's too, he's too old. 
And he didn't talk like this. Harry Potter. It was very a lot. Of, a lot this time it was like Harry Potter. Did you put your name in the couple of fire? <laughs> Do you agree with the wardrobe choice where they do with Jude Law, where it's like he's dressing like in a three piece three piece suit, and then now like yeah. later in the future he's wearing robes and stuff? I, I disagree with everything that has to do with those new movies. I, think I haven't seen terrible. any of them. They're not very good. I haven't seen any of them. But do you guys remember that ad? <gasps> that was a really good ad. Yeah. It was good, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I loved it. That swag store was really cool. It, was, it seems really neat. Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we he talk- definitely had a more distinct voice. I feel like. The first, the first Dumbledore, maybe, yeah. You don't think so? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I bet he smelled like an old person. <laughs> yeah, because he he's old, old, Lily. Jeez, <clears throat> um, got a problem with old people? <clears throat> no. I have a question. This was sent in by a viewer. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. This no, is not a beginning question, but it. this is a, um, just a question. It's a done. It's been no day for look at me. me. Um, this was sent in by Andrew. Uh, I'm gonna say Veltri, Velcro, Velcro. Yeah, I love that guy. Velcro, Andrew, Angie, Angie Vel, Velpro. <laughs> Andrew, <laughs> oh Andrew, V E L T R I, Veltri, Veltri, Velcro, Velcro, Velcro. Okay. <laughs> it, he he sent me a, a screenshot of a tweet. And the question is, it says, important thought experiment. You're in an arena mm-hmm. with, and there's, there's quite a bit of options, so listen carefully. Okay. I'm in an arena. I'm there. You're in an arena, yep. a gladiator, mm-hmm. 50 hawks, Oh no. 10 crocodiles, mm. three brown bears, oh. 15 mm-hmm. wolves, one hunter with a rifle, seven buffalo, 10,000 rats. Oh. Five gorillas, four lions. Pick two to defend you. The others attack you. Goal is to survive one hour. What do you pick and why? Does he have, un- he says like unlimited ammo? It, do- it doesn't specify. So let's just assume that he only has one chamber or like enough, like, like a hunting has, like, rifle. Yeah, like six rounds or something. Six rounds? Let's just assume that. Because it just, says, it just, says, it just says a rifle. If he's fighting me, he's just going to shoot me. Wait. But what if you're surrounded by <laughs> three brown bears? I ha- yeah, I have my answer. Okay. I'm going brown bear and I did too. gorillas. I Same. Yeah, okay. that's, I would brown pick bears the gorillas. and gorillas. Wait, you, only get, you pick two? I thought you pick one. No, you get you two. get to pick two to defend you. The rest are about to attack you. I'm going to say gorillas and rats. Interesting. 10,000 rats are going to stop a man with a gun? Are we 10, in a container? rats is a lot of rats. Are we in like an enclosed space? A arena. coliseum. A coliseum. Arena. Oh, gladiator. But rats can hide in there. Yeah, rats. 10,000 rats in an arena would be pretty dispersed. Yeah, it would. I would choose definitely the gorillas and I think the wolves. Can I look at it there real quick? Yeah. <laughs> I'm 15, 15 wolves. Well, who oh, in their right mind picks a hawk, by the way? Yeah. I like hawks, but... A hunter with a Maybe rifle changes everything. Rats. It changes no. everything, the guy with a rifle. No. I because, think yeah, one, sh- like, one shot on any of those things, you're dying. But you don't, let's just assume he has six rounds. Don't think about too there, much. There goes okay. my three brown bears and my gorillas. Yeah, that's that why I did the, the wolves. Oof, man. I would do gorillas for sure. Yeah, because then I would do. Sure. I would be on piggyback on one of them, <laughs> and I would have one guy that's like, "You're protecting me." Everyone else is like surrounding and attacked. Is that a good gorilla? That was. Think <laughs> about, think about um, Tarzan, um, Clayton, and what's <laughs> the daddy gorilla? Clayton. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the daddy gorilla? Um, Morbius. Mm-mm-mm. Her no. check. Kerchak. 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 So like that. Okay. Kerchak, yeah. Ouch, that really hurt my chest. <laughs> not me, though. Okay. Me. I, I don't think the, the guy, me. the hunter with a gun's not even anything of consequence, because if I was to be asked. Of anything with consequence, it's six bullets, Dude. a rifle, but if you shooting get, straight at you. If I'm behind a wall of gorillas, because the question. Five if, gorillas. If you, if you put six it. Six shots. If you put it this way, if you put it this way. Would you go in or like, are you a thousand percent sure you would survive if you stepped into a 
Like if you were given a An gun, arena with all those animals, and five gorillas were running at you, and with one rifle, how many hunters have like died because they're trying to <laughs> you kill? Can't ta- it's really hard to take down a gorilla or a bear with a rifle. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm I'm not picking the rifleman. I know because saying, he's going down but, because no, I'm my probability no matter what I pick is like my the, my life my likelihood of survival is like at five percent and no matter what. Yeah, but I feel like if I have the gorillas and the bear, or the wolves, yeah. I'm uh, my. It's I feel like a the wolves, like the wolves, they would look out for you. Yeah, I well, feel like the, yeah, they have like you see dogs do they they yeah. when they have the people coming around yeah. and attacking them they, they they have that instinct. The question I keep asking myself is: Are these animals motivated to kill each other? <laughs> because except, except you, they're going to defend you. No, the I know, ones but that you pick the the, the other ones opposing will. animals. Yes. So like the rats, I keep thinking they would disperse, but if they are in fight or flight mode, they might chew through all these other critters. No, yeah, they're defending the ten thousand. Ten thousand. I don't think would. Uh, I don't think we understand how much. That's a lot. That's a lot. That of would rats. fill more than this room. And oh, have you yeah. heard of the? It's like you know that terrible way to torture. Be tortured. Yeah, where they put the box on you with the rats. Yeah, and, they, like, and light it on you. fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's. I mean, they would do that to all these other. Critters. I'm changing it up. Gorillas and rats. Me too. That's my answer. Final gorillas answer. and rats. If the rats are motivated. I know I'm most likely gonna but die, the, but that's my only likelihood of survival. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna <laughs> place bets on the, the the hawks will take out the rats because everyone everyone's fighting right? everyone except the two. How many hawks are there though? Fifty. Fifteen. Oh. Fifty. Oh, that's a lot of hawks. Not, <laughs> that's yeah. a lot of hawks. <laughs> hey, oh, that's a lot of hawks. And I'm gonna assume if the rats are motivated, the hawks are motivated. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> let's just assume everyone's motivated. <laughs> Everything's on the line. The championship belt is there to win. All right. This is one more shout out to a viewer. Okay. Thank you, Andrew, for that um, little that was tidbit. Fun. Uh, this is a story from a kid named a kid. I'm assuming it's a kid. I he, There's it's a profile a picture year old of him man. in camo. So it's like you just kind of take a shot. Um, <laughs> his name is, uh, I don't, C-A-H-I-L, Cahill. Cahill? Yeah. Cahill? Mm-hmm. Or Cahill. 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 Harris. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> or sir. sir. <laughs> He's 65 years old. Um, he said, talking about owls. Yeah. I think every podcast now yeah. we're going to talk about owls. <laughs> Past four sort. episodes, it's all been owls. He said, this boy or man, He's in camo. He Bandbike. said, since y'all have been talking about owls, last week um, was the last week of deer season. And on the way to my stand, the last morning, I had an owl land on my back and beat its wings continuously on the sides of my head for around 30 seconds. I got it off by grabbing it and throwing it over my head. (laughs) After that, it just flew off. And I said, I would rather die. (laughs) And he said, he said, I thought I was, and I just accepted it. (laughs) What if he would have just started getting carried off? Dude. (laughs) Help. (laughs) <laughs> was he in the tree or was he on the way to the tree? Just, I guess he was just walking through the woods. Dude, Jeez. that's scary. Oh, yeah. At least it wasn't loud because we know they're silent. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? Has he? That's like, Has he been chosen for something? Yeah, for chosen. a mission? Yes. <laughs> You've been chosen. <laughs> yeah. That's creepy. That would be terrifying. So I terrifying. would. I would actually die. I would be really scared at that point because, like, what I would really read into it. I was like, "Why did they accept me?" I would just me? cry for the rest of my life. Why did you choose me? You're All I know is I'm one. definitely not hunting. Like, if I'm walking to the tree stand, oh and yeah, happens, like, I'm, I'm, I'm going, going home. I'm going home. <laughs> I'm done with this. It's got to be a sign of something. Are we ready to open some presents? Presents. Yeah. Oh yeah. Real quick, we got presents. All right, so presents. So first off. We got some uh, candies uh, sent to us from uh, Andrew's cousin from Hawaii. Oh. Or that was your dad. Uh, my dad got them from my cousin. Shout out Amy and uh, Micah. Yes, Mike Amy and Micah. Cola. These are Hawaiian host, genuine classic original, dark chocolate Aloha Max. Oh. Dark chocolate covered Ready? macadamias. Oh, <laughs> I'm I don't, sorry. I don't like dark chocolate. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you just hit her. Right in the face. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Are you okay? No. You want another that one? So- yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got this one. One more time. Okay. You got it? Know. Perfect. <laughs> if you looked down and it wasn't one of the chocolates that you just crapped on the couch. <laughs> Cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> I would cry. I'm going to explain For to dark everybody. chocolate, those aren't bad. I don't like dark chocolate, though. You want one? I'm going to explain to everyone now the reason I'm not eating them is because I'm allergic to milk. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So Ooh. we just we just brush past that and everyone's like, wow, they really 
don't really care that Andrew's there at all. <laughs> all right. These are Ohio State Buckeyes. Let me look up who oh, sent us this. Oh, I love these Buckeyes. These are so good. Apparently, you can't actually have real real Buckeyes because they're poisonous. <laughs> what? Yeah. They're, like, incredibly poisonous. And he says, uh, those are those ones that I sent you probably aren't. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, thanks. His name is Joe. Thanks, yeah, we Joe. we met. Uh, yeah, Joe Binkley. Binkley, he was really oh. cool. We met him at uh, Orange Conference last He's year. He's a conference or a customer. Uh huh. He's great. It's filled with Super peanut good. butter. Peanut butter, chocolate, it's phenomenal. Very nice. But we also have something else. Uh, we talked about a couple weeks ago about beef tallow. You yeah, brought that up. Yep. Andrew mentioned beef yep. tallow as a skincare routine. Yep. Apparently, there's some people in Midland, Texas, that own a company called Flying Cow, and it's a bunch of beef tallow <laughs> products. So everyone in here is about to be spoiled. All right. First off, all right, let's read the note. It says, Ninjas and Butterflies crew, y'all are the best. So excited for you guys to try out the holy grail of skincare, beef tallow. Showed us, shoot us a DM if you have any questions. Um, so these guys are at Flying Cow Tallows on Instagram. Check them out. And uh, look at that. They got that for baby Jane. <gasps> oh. And for, and for Ada right here. Oh, Hold the right ducky. Oh. It's the best. And so it's nothing to do with cows, though. Nothing. I don't. I think they probably that, just like found this. They're like, like hey, the should like, we just um, get rid of this? <laughs> no. So they gave us some cool stickers, but they got us some tattoo balm. Oh, cool. For the, for the boys with the tattoos. Very so nice. That. Beautiful. And then uh, they also got uh, man balm. We all three got man balm. Here we Where's go. man balm? Gotcha. Boom. I don't oh, know. But nice. We're going to look it up. Uh, but there's also, you guys got a ton of baby stuff. <gasps> Ba- sleepy baby balm. That's sleepy so nice. baby balm. Sleepy baby balm. All right, and also I'm gonna take this one. It's peppermint, but it's good for skincare oh. and psoriasis. Oh. And so I have psoriasis it? that I uh, deal with, and so <laughs> you break it. in my face. <laughs> Frankincense and lavender and Look myrrh. At that. Dude, this smells and good. <laughs> Restore. It's a uh, restoring cream, but guys, this is this is not cheap. <laughs> this is sick. Baby balm. I'm telling you, they Golly. Oh my gosh, up. they spoiled us rotten. Look at we got that. Some citrus serum, magnolia night serum. It's wow. absolutely. Oh, look at that. This is the best beard balm, baby. Nice. Wow. Oh, that yeah. that's, that's for me. Beard <laughs> balm, no, baby. It's, it's for they me. sent one for me and Josh. That's so cool. Wow. But yeah, hey, flying cow, towel, please. You guys are the absolute best. Thank you so much. This reminds me of Nacho Libre when he says. I want to be somebody. <laughs> Someone where I get some creams and lotions. <laughs> Dude, we've made we it. We finally got it. Yeah. We finally got it. Dude, let me smell that nighttime one. The nighttime one? Yeah. Guys. Absolutely incredible. We're so psyched this to try so them out. Awesome. And we'll give you guys updates if any um, if any of these. Uh, we don't know if they work. We don't know if we uh, love them. Um, but they sent it to us very nicely. And we're going <laughs> to try them out. very nicely. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Super Thanks, cool. Flying Cow. Thank you guys so much. That's super, super cool. We're psyched. We love, hey, if you guys want to send us stuff, send us stuff. 510 East Alfred to Various Florida. Let's go. We'll try it out or taste test it. We do Don't love Don't poison us, stuff. please. Um, Buckeyes. Buckeyes are poisonous and are from Ohio. What are you talking about, poisonous? The Buckeye itself. The actual Buckeye. That, that we, grow- just, we, were, we just went over this. No. The plant. I, what is a Buckeye? The plant itself. It's the plant. We it's talked like, about this, like and, and you, go, you literally said, poisonous? <laughs> <laughs> we talked about this. You see what the logic of the <gasps> arguments come from? Whoa. Hey. Do not take advantage of my Do postpartum not. brain. <laughs> Do not. Just kidding. You're being so mean. No, I'm playing. You just divided who That's you like are the- from who you are now. That what? sounded like some sort of philosophy. Real. You said, "Don't judge me on my postpartum brain." Can we all agree? Are that you Andrew not would you be right the now? Perfect riddler for the next. My movie. brain is postpartum. <laughs> no, I think that Andrew needs to be a bridge troll. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Solve the riddle. Pay the toll. I'm so confused. <laughs> It's just r- riddles three. I, that's, you know what? I don't need to travel that I have much. It's a riddle fine. for you. The essence of a dolphin. <laughs> Explain. Goes, puff, puff, puff. Explain. <laughs> Thermodynamics. Nice. Yes. <laughs> you shall pass. Man, <laughs> that was the wheeziest laugh I've oh ever come out. <laughs> um, Ohio. Ohio. Buckeyes. Poison. Ooh, I see where you're going. Uh oh. What was that? What was I don't that? want to talk about this. It makes me sad. Oh my gosh, oh. I you're gonna throw up. Yeah, it is very sad. <laughs> it's so sad. Well, it's sad, but it's also course. mysterious. It's mysterious, and it's let's just let's break this down for a second. Yeah. 
By the time this comes out, this would have happened last week or two, two weeks two, ago. Two or three weeks ago, yeah. And that train that flipped in Ohio um, in Palestine, Palestine or Palestine? Palestine. Palestine. Um, carried just really, really toxic chemicals, spill everywhere. They said it was like a, th- uh, like a million pounds worth <gasps> of this chemical. And instead of like letting it soak in to the ground and stuff, they decided to burn it to just like evaporate or whatever. But it's causing just problems, a ton of problems. Like fish are dying in the nearby lakes and streams. Livestock. People that are returning back home instantly are having headaches, breathing problems. It's terrible. I saw a guy that walked, like, that was giving an interview about, like, like how is it there? And he's like, yeah, it's I mean, it's, it's, t- it's pretty great. You can smell it in the air. And it's just like, it was like you just see oh, it in his eyes. Oh, hat? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You see it in his eyes. It was like, dude, this guy's been through it. Yeah. Because he owns a house and his company on either side of the train tracks where the thing flipped over. Yeah. And like, yeah, it's safe to go back. But what they did... Was the railroad company, they didn't finish burning it off because they got had to get the railroad back in system, so they just buried the rest of it and did a railroad over it. So it's like seeping in. And so it's just it's a like, problem. But the, the weird, problem. this is the, Extremely this toxic is the conspiracy part of it all. Okay. Um, they didn't, the news did not report on it for weeks. Oh my gosh. Weeks. And, um... But what they were reporting on were these UFOs flying around that were, we were shooting down and stuff. That have come out of nowhere. But listen, because they I saw this interview with these different senators and stuff yesterday. And one of them said, like, we've had objects flying around like this for years. Mm-hmm. Tens of years of just like, and like, we've never shot them down. Random it's stuff. never been a problem, really. Yeah. But it's just like, why all of a sudden are we shooting them down? And... It Public, al- publicizing them and it almost seems like it's they're just like the way the media works they're just like trying to avoid like a real catastrophe that's happening yeah. in the u.s it could have probably saved lives or you know these yeah. people's health because they would have known more about it yeah so it's just, i don't know i just thought that was crazy what do we even it's have the really media for yeah media if they're not going to report kind of, on the weather are we kind of part of the media though in a little bit way no Ooh, we're talking about it we talk about facts. <laughs> sometimes facts only. <laughs> sometimes they're facts. <laughs> Some, most this of is the time an opinion. Fifteen percent um, of the time. Fifteen <laughs> percent of the time, it's facts. We think. We think. <laughs> we um, need to pray for those people, though. Pray for the people in the town. Yeah, for real. Yeah, I mean, and if you know somebody in that area. Yeah, like, anyone watching this, if yeah. you know like an organization or something to like help the people in Ohio. Or even like let's just let, let's name off some big catastrophes that are happening. Where if people know how to help, yeah. Also, listen. if you're if you're a person in that area and yeah. want to talk to us, we want to talk to you. Yeah, yeah. We'll fly you out and we'll get you on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. but for real, if there are any relief um, uh, organizations out there that you know of, drop those in the comments. We'll highlight those. We'll pin those. We'll share those. But I know there there's like another leak in Texas, Arizona, yeah, no. yeah Colorado. There's Colorado. there's a ton of stuff happening, man. It's and the weird. people in Turkey, in Turkey golly, dude, Syria. forty thousand people passed away. Yeah. From that earthquake that we know of? Yeah, so if you guys know of any organization that's helping relieve these areas, um, or just in any way, just let us know in the comments. Yeah, yeah and we'll try, we'll try to share those and highlight those and make sure that the, um, people are our fans and everyone is just kind of giving the relief and at least being aware of the stuff that's happening. Yeah. It's really crazy because it, it's... Uh, I don't like being that, like, like ant- us versus the government type of people, but the thing is... It, U.S. is basically a company at this point. Yeah. It's a, you have, you know, the the perception is everything. And so there has to be, if there is something that they're not wanting you to pay attention to, just like in anything, if your yeah. kid, if you're going home and you have your kids and you find out, you know, you're getting house getting foreclosed on or you just got fired, you're not going to come home and tell your kids and bum them out and lay all that. You're going to distract them. You're going to say, hey, everything's good. Everything's fine. Everything's perfect. Let's, let's do this. Let's go play a game. But yeah. if you do that their whole lives. Yeah. But, the, but that's the thing. That's what the government's doing right now. Yeah. Man, that's just my the theory. Gov- that's the my man. theory. That's my theory. Yeah. It's like the the hundred percent is a possibility that there's be distractions being yeah. put out there. So one one could never, argue you want to overthrow the government. Oh <laughs> man! One could say, one Andy, could say, you're saying you want to start a revolution. One could say that you're a Soviet spy <laughs> no, from Russia, no, talking bad no, about the no, U.S. government. Yeah. 
Get out of here! <laughs> we found you! That was all a trick. All None of that tough. stuff happened. Just kidding, it did happen. It did That's happen. Really it did, it did Get them, boys! <laughs> Get them, boys! I feel like it wouldn't take a lot for Andy to be like a doomsday prepper. What if you just... No, like, I'm very easily convinced. <laughs> what if you like went Same. into like, I don't know, like, I don't, have you guys heard of like the socialist movement? Like... You know, just like the the sickle and hammer. Like we just need to like yeah. work as a country together, but like really rely on like a build like a wall, a, like a socialist <laughs> system. You know? Have you heard that comedian? That <laughs> said, it's basically what he you just said, Andy. Where he's like, I don't know how y'all are trusting the government all the time, and he's like, I have a kid, one kid. And I lie to him all the time. <laughs> <laughs> who is that? I, I don't know his name. Yeah, He's so I, funny, I, though. I, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that before. That's that's true, though. Like, you, we can't. I'm not saying don't trust the government, but I'm just saying, like, we have to realize that we're all just people. We're all just living lives. And th- bad things are happening to people. And it sucks. It really does suck. It's I wanna, terrible. I want to I wanna go, since we're down a uh, dark path. Ooh. Oh, no. Let's I say, can't take it anymore. Let, let's say we go to war with China. Because mm-hmm. they're kind of... I'm gonna say they're kind of setting it up a little bit to where, where it's like kind of the Cold War feeling of like yeah. the Russians are gonna kill us, you know. <laughs> and it's like kind of feeling like that with China, like China sent spy balloons and like these things that we're shooting down are probably from China, and like China's trying to overthrow Taiwan and like all this stuff. Let's say China invades the U.S. Mm. You hear China is invading the shorelines of Florida. What's your first move? <laughs> I'm not worried about it. I'm grabbing a pizza. I'm heading home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grabbing a pizza. We're having a movie night. And we're just going to lock down. That's honestly like, that's like, what can you do? Yeah, I don't know. I'd, I'd, I would literally, I would, that's honestly that, what I do. No, but that's. I would chill at home and I would have the funnest night of my life with my kids. Yeah, well, I'm because like, saying, that's like, that. <laughs> in those scenarios, you can't do anything. No, you Where can't. You going to get a gun? <laughs> no. You're going to fight the Chinese army with your little <laughs> shotgun? Come on, boys. I'm no, not, I'm not worried about it, but I'm scared for Paige. Why? Why? Oh, because you're Asian. Because <laughs> you're gonna be like, hey, he's one of us. <laughs> just one on, like, of us. <laughs> uh, soldiers can to start running. <laughs> he's fine. He's fine. Um, it looks Filipino though. They count. That's fine. Those words. Those words. Hey, why do why do we even have to do war? War. What is it good for? Mm. Absolutely nothing, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Did you just come up with that? Should we write a song? Hmm. Wow. Ha! What is it good for? Absolutely, Absolutely nothing. Yeah. Ooh. Ha! Yeah. See, Viet- see, that's the thing. War stupid. A lot of people think we haven't really gone through, like, the whole COVID thing. We haven't really gone through a really difficult time as America because Vietnam was a very difficult time for America. Mm-hmm. And, and World War art, art reflects the times that they were going through, Right. So we, what are you laughing at? You laughing so at? like real physical art and also musical art that comes out. What are you laughing at? I don't know. At? I don't know. It's just like, I don't know. But you think about all the music that happened within the Vietnam War. Yeah. That was based on the war. Yeah. It's like that all, that all happened. And so like, it's like, how bad is our war really? How bad is our, the world that we're living in? Well, COVID, Truly. COVID did produce um, Sam Smith singing Unholy. That's mm. true. Mm. It all led to that. So was it worth it? I think so. Oh yeah, it definitely was. <laughs> it was definitely worth it. Da, 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 da. See, my my daughters are singing that song in their head, like, but just the rhythm. They've heard the song before, uh-huh. and so they just go, da, ba, da, ba, 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 da, ba, da. and I'm like, that cool. That's, that's all the that's lyrics fine. you need to know. Yeah. That's good. It stinks because that song is so catchy. Yeah. But yeah. when he performed at the Grammys, yep. I was like, Ugh. I, I, I just saw pictures. He dressed up like as like as the devil, right? Like yeah, as devil. the devil. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see the tweet that went out before the show started? It was CBS. No. Ready to worship. Oh. Oh no. <sighs> Boo. Come on, Sam. You, you got a beautiful voice. You don't need to be doing this stuff. <laughs> you don't. It's ridiculous. It's so getting dumb. ridiculous. The Super Bowl halftime show that really, not yours, the Rihanna one, and all these horrible, like the these pop artists that are coming out with these statements. I'm just like horrified. You didn't, you didn't like the, the halftime show? Rihanna's? Yeah. I didn't watch it, I it was because kind of because I was watching our own bit. halftime show. What she we did, saw, she did flash one of these. Did you see? Did she she yeah, did some pretty right disgusting stuff oh, on no. stage show too. That they oh yeah, she oh, did. No. Yeah, and like kids and are kids watching. Kids are watching. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and she was watching. carrying a child. Yeah, but the thing is, if you're having your kids watch the Super Bowl halftime show, 
That's probably your fault. But that's sad. Isn't I know sad? it sucks, but the thing is, it's always been that way. It's been that way for the past 20 years. Think yeah. of the kids. <laughs> Think of the kids, Andy. Kids, you can always watch our show. <laughs> we won't ever do stuff like that. But the halftime show has never been um, family friendly. So I don't think, I mean, at least it hasn't been in the past, you know, like few years. And so it's like, I don't think it should be. Yeah. Like you don't, don't expect it to be family friendly. Like just watch something else. Oh, I, th- ever, here, I think ever since Janet Jackson and Justin yeah. Timberlake, You've, that, was, that was, that was, we but, can't expect these people to act like Christians. We can't yeah. expect these people to act like, yeah. you know, yeah, there's but, like, but, there's, there's, no. there's <laughs> Christians and then there's just like Janet Jackson's Human whole decency. mouth. That, that's, malfunction. Yeah, that's, that, was, that was a little crazy. It's like, Okay. I think I think the cheerleaders are just as bad as anything that's happening. Hey, uh, I'm just saying. You right. know what? It's I think sports. I just think <laughs> things are. I think things are better in Russia. That's what all I'm saying. <laughs> all right. I mean, like hypothetically, like I imagine things are better in yeah Russia. Like what? Life. <laughs> People. All right. Beliefs. Okay. Political systems. Mm. The weather. The <laughs> weather. The weather. The leaders. Maybe the leaders. Their their value. Their the thing that drives them. Mm. To be that way, <laughs> we got him. <laughs> Get him, um, boys. Yeah. So, a lot of crazy stuff happening. How do we, we get on that? I, don't I know. have no we idea. We got to bring it back up here, though. You guys are bumming me out with all this <laughs> all sad right, news. You guys are bumming me out. Um, I was, I was literally like, not all of this, but I was like, just like word vomiting at Lily last night of yeah. just like all the terrible things that are <laughs> happening in this world, and Lily's face is like. <laughs> I'm like, I should probably stop, right? And she's like, yeah. And yeah. I'm like, okay, like, good night. I said, actually, did you hear about how Mother Teresa actually was a terrible person? She's like, what? I'm like, I'm just kidding. She's I'm just probably. kidding. She's great. <laughs> she was she's actually right. an extreme racist. <laughs> uh, you know what was funny, though, that we were talking about last night, and it, like, reminds me of the fight we just had. I was, um, we were in Ada's room playing, and, you know, I was just getting all, like, you know, and I'm like, Josh, think about this season of my life and how much I have going on. I'm, <laughs> I'm nursing. I'm waking up all night with the baby. I'm working a full time job. I have a toddler I'm that sitting needs down some a chair, special. By the way, and this whole time. while I'm having this conversation, Josh's eyes are going like this, like, because I thought she was about to yell at me. I thought he thought, and I was like, and. I'm doing okay. That's what I said. And I was like, and I, <laughs> and I was like, I, that's because God is in this season. He's carrying me through it, you know? And like, these are answered prayers. And Josh was like, oh my gosh, I was setting up for a fight. I thought, I thought, I thought, you thought you just gonna, I, she was going to end. just like, and you're not doing anything. That's what I thought it was going to happen. She's like, she's like, think about this, Josh. I'm a full-time mother. I work full-time. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Yeah. Like she literally, I'm handling like this. I'm doing this. I've got this like, going on. <laughs> and she's like, and I'm doing okay. <laughs> and it's because God's helping me. I'm like, yes, oh. <laughs> he is. Oh my Thank God. you, God. <laughs> 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 my tummy's upset. Can you make me a sandwich? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. Yeah. But hey guys, guess what? Guess what? 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 You guys should go buy some merch. Mm. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Where? Mm-hmm. Oh, how, what is it? SundayCoolSwag.com. Sunday SundayCoolSwag.com. We've switched it up a couple times. We were going to like SundayCoolSwagStore.com, but SundayCoolSwag.com. Yeah. CoolCarl.com will take you right there. But SundayCoolSwag.com, we've got brand new products, brand new techniques and styles, everything. Guys, like, we're putting the stuff that's going to be on this site is going to be brand new. It's going to be different. Um, new different technologies. Print styles. Yeah, different technologies, different, everything. We're having, we're experimenting. Printing we're technologies. Fun. Yeah. We're talking about water reveal, mm. maybe some. Sun reveal. I don't know what you've been talking about. You'll see. Go to sundaycoolswag.com. Boom, baby. And look at how we are the Elon Musks of the t-shirt industry. It's so advanced you guys might even call it witchcraft. No. 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 (laughs) No. We don't. Whoa. No. We can just call it technology. Jane, come on. Please. (laughs) Um, Should we end on a happy note? Do you have anything? I think we should look at Jane. We should compliment Jane right now. Look how adorable she is. She's wide awake. She's shocked. She has no idea where she's at. <laughs> she's gonna be walking, watching this as a twenty-year-old. Be like, "What was I doing?" She oh, always looks surprised. Look how chubby she is. <laughs> she's so adorable. Yeah, she's Jane the best. Too, yeah, Jane, you're doing great. We love you. <laughs> I reused the joke. I don't know if you got that. <laughs> oh my god, Jane, say, you are so cute, huh? What'd you say? I said, "Look how chubby she is." I said, "Oh yeah, Jane too." <laughs> oh, that's me. I already used that joke, so it's not as funny. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> But she's just a little she's chubster the joy. Best. Look at she's so excited just to be around. She's looking all around. Say, Can you what, imitate what, her? When's the last time? <laughs> when's the last time you were ever just like 
<laughs> I think the last time I went inside like an actual five guys and like it was just like just seeing all the options in the mm. <laughs> There's like two options. <laughs> yeah. I know, but it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you want you a are. burger or a hot dog? <laughs> <sighs> uh <-huh>. Sir, please <laughs> stop slobbering on the floor. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> He's got somebody with a mop underneath. Oh man. All right. Okay. Thanks that for watching, lot. guys. That was a roller coaster of emotions. We're up here, then we came down here, then we went over here. At least we ate some chocolate. Amen. We ate a lot right, of chocolate. Jane? At least we're gonna have really clean phases. 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 Phases, phases in life. This is gonna <laughs> be a good, a very, very good phase in my life. Yeah. Very hey, clean. thank you, Flying Cow. Thank you. You guys are the best. This is, this stuff is legit. Thank you so much for everyone who sent everything. That was awesome. Super, All right. Super cool. Love, Love you. you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye -bye. Oh. Bye -bye. Oh. See you later. Oh, you can, can kiss Janie. Oh. Ninja. Oh, that smiles. Oh, he smiles. That's so sweet. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most beautiful creations. Has an empty mind. You were martial arts. Fuck ninjas out there.